So this is one of the graveyards of St. Philip's. And uh, there are more people that signed the United States Constitution buried here than in the North. If that just tells you anything about Charles. Including who's also buried here is John C. Calhoun, and uh, he was uh, vice president at one point. I think he held a bunch of offices. Uh, the guy who uh, brought Blackbeard to justice is also buried in this cemetery as well. His name is Colonel William Moret. This is the Mills House. It's always been a hotel. And uh, from that balcony, the original balcony, that is where Robert E. Lee, the General of the Confederate Army, first actually met Trigger, his horse. Even General Lee was here many, many times. And the reason for that is, is that the Citadel is right up here. That's where most of the uh, Union Army got trained. So this is Chalmers. Hi hey Chalmers. How you doing? That's your mama and me. <laughs> and Chalmers has got a probably one of the most darkest histories out of any other place here in Charleston. And the reason being is, is this is where they sold slaves. I know it looks pretty. But this is where you'd come if you had money to purchase another human being and there lies america's greatest sin is anytime you see anybody else they're not lower than you they're not more than you they're equal to you and it, even to this day how we treat other people of religion and color the united states is one of the worst places for holding on to an archaic belief. So we just made like a big U just to show you a U of history. <laughs> We've basically wandered through and shown you how everything is all connected and unfortunately it's not a connected in a really good way and I'm getting ready to show you why. The screams, the suffrage, all wrapped up into one building. You gotta figure that slavery happened a lot more than that. There's more people that came through as slaves here in Charleston than anywhere else in the country. And I mean, it just makes your heart stop just a little bit. And that's when I reach out my hand, trying to send out positive energy your way. When I reach out my energy or hand to this building, uh, it's just a dark, dark energy. It's just kind of disgusting. To be honest with, you. with your outside um, on the sidewalk, if you can handle the way this way, you'll see a historic black. We talked about the slave market. This was one of the slave markets, the outdoor slave markets. Um,
Unfortunately, I can't show you inside because there's no video or photography. That's fine. You get the general point. The interesting thing about this mart is that there was uh, activity. This is basically an alleyway where auctions took place off the street. Why is that important? Because by 1850 or so, they outlawed selling slaves or enslaved people on the streets and at the boats and at the docks. Why is that so crazy? And why did they do that? Because it was causing too much of a traffic problem. Unbelievable, huh? And the crazy thing is, is that all this was built into the Constitution of the United States. Now, I'm not saying that the United States was alone in this. As a matter of fact, Brazil was one of the last places to abolish slavery, like late 1800s, like 1888 or so, if memory serves me correctly. But it just goes to show you how important it was to this country. Only, well, ironically, only 3% of people owned something in the window of like a million point, 1.9 million enslaved uh, African Americans. Isn't that crazy? 3% is what got all of the Civil War started. 3%. So don't tell me the events of today don't matter. Remember that, 3%. There's one guy that actually owned somewhere in the window of about 1,850 slaves all by himself in the state of South Carolina. That's unbelievable. So what did it cost to buy a slave back then in today's money? Anywhere from about ten dollars to $12,000 all the way up to $30,000, $35,000 in today's money. Isn't that crazy? You're now entering the four corners of hell uh, city, state, federal, and the church. Happens to be St. Michael's Episcopal. We're at the corner of uh, Meeting and Broad Street. <laughs> 